School, work, family and friends. Where do we time where do we find the time to work out? Well according to Jennifer Warner, a writer at WebMD, first year college students gain at least five percent of their body weight in the first which equivalates to ten pounds in the first semester of college. In college, it's very stressful, and as we're all college students here, we all realize the stress of finals, midterms, and different things. <coughs> um, exercise isn't always like going to the gym. There's different types of exercise. There's you can just go for a run or a brisk walk, or also like you can try yoga or different other techniques that other people use. As being a first-time college student and also maintaining a full-time job, I get it, like it's really hard. And by exercising, I have released a lot of stress throughout these three quarters here. So by understanding why, by understanding different types of exercises, hopefully you will decide to start incorporating exercise into your daily routine. First, I'll speak to you about the academic benefits of exercising. Then I'll speak to you about the health benefits of exercising, and then why you should exercise. So the first reason you should exercise is academic benefits. According to the American Intercontinental University, it, there was a study done in Canada where students were like let out to go play, and they were able to concentrate, participate, and retain memory way better than other students. So while we're like in lecture hall, and if we can't seem to concentrate, this would be a good like way to be able to retain information better. Also, like when you're in a final, you can't remember something. It's like, wow, if I would have exercised, I would have been able to remember that from lecture hall. So now that I spoke to you about the academic benefits, I'm going to speak to you about the health benefits of exercising. So <coughs> according to, um, the American Intercontinental University, stress leads to um, heart problems and stomach problems. So this includes heart attacks and stomach ulcers. So many times when we're stressed, we don't have a clear head, and well, that's not good. So exercising also helps you get a clear head. And something I like to say to people is, break a sweat before you break yourself. So there is my first quarter, I was working 12 hours a day, and coming here full time and I literally like passed out at work and I had to go to the hospital from stress and different things that stress led to. And also, um, uuniversitytv.com um, says that uh, exercise reduces fatigue. So when you're feeling drowsy, you know, like we can reduce that by exercising. Also, the article says that um, our bodies are like